Welcome to AWS Marketplace Seller Conference 2023. I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios. I'm now joined with Mona Sada. You are the Director of Infrastructure Category Management and Partner Development. Yes. Aside from being a mouthful, <laughs> tell us about that. What is, right. what is your role within AWS Marketplace? So essentially that just boils down to my team managing um, all of the infrastructure ISV partnerships, including AWS Marketplace and leveraging AWS Marketplace as a co-sell engine. So what I mean by infrastructure ISVs is a cat our category of ISVs that includes security, networking, storage, database, AIML, cloud ops, DevOps, you know, Gen AI, all of the sort of um, kind of ISVs that really integrate with AWS services. And so um, my team is really responsible for managing all of those partnerships, including figuring out how to build market and sell, how to help them build market and sell with AWS. Um, and a big component of that is the market and sell, which again is a huge portion is AWS Marketplace. And so what we're finding is increasingly our ISVs are just are needing and wanting to leverage um, AWS Marketplace as a way to reach AWS customers. Mm -hmm. And increasingly what we found is that AWS customers are finding AWS Marketplace to be a very easy way to procure software right. and services. And part of that is because of the innovation that um, Marketplace delivered in terms of like making it easier to contract with these ISVs. So, you know, buying multi-year contracts, um, having standardized terms and conditions, and then having an automated way in a repeatable way uh, to buy a bunch of different software across those different categories and more. So it's not just about infrastructure software. That's the part that I'm responsible for and uh, my team is, but you know, Marketplace also covers business applications, both horizontal and verticals as well. So yeah. We are here at Seller Conference. Why is Seller Conference such a big deal? Why is it important? What can sellers get out of this? Yeah, yeah, no, it's a good point. You know, and it's one thing that I had mentioned before, which is that customers, AWS customers, mm -hmm. are, are using AWS Marketplace. And so increasingly, it's a way for them to, um, again, easily procure software of any kind. And so as a result, we have more and more sellers or ISVs and channel partners that are saying, I got to get on the marketplace. Yeah. I got to be able to leverage marketplace as one of my primary channels to market to AWS customers. And so it's a lot of demand, right? For like, what is marketplace? How do I get onto marketplace? We hear a bunch from end customers, from buyers, enterprise buyers, right? So these are their largest customers that are saying, we want to transact through the marketplace. So as a result, and as we built this momentum over the years, we have all these ISVs that are like, great, I need to get started. Not only do I need to get started, now I need to scale the business. I need advice on best practices around go to market. You know, at this conference, you'll, you're finding that there's uh, operations people, um, there's uh, go to market teams, marketing teams, sales teams, CROs are here. It's, it's amazing how much um, momentum Marketplace has delivered and the momentum that has been delivered has been delivered with ISBs. And so they're bringing in more and more of their teams and their um, business to the marketplace and getting them involved. And so, you know, typically, and Chris even mentioned it in the keynote, was that it used to just be primarily focused on product teams. Right. And now it's extended over to marketing teams. It's extended over to the finance, to the CROs, the chief revenue officers, sales teams are here because they've embedded and, um, you know, included marketplace into every aspect of the business. Because ultimately that's what's driving sales. That's what's driving revenue. That's what customers are buying from the marketplace and their largest customers are. So it just has a lot of mind share right now with a lot of ISVs, a lot of channel partners. Um, so it's just, this conference has been something that, you know, we've been doing for the past three years. It first, you know, started with us, you know, just creating a, almost like a partner advisory board. Mm -hmm. And it was like, well, no, we need more. We need more sessions. We need and it just evolved to this conference. So what we just find is that um, the demand for wanting something like this. So we continue with it and it's, it's expanded. It's uh, doubled year over year. We expect it to double next year, um, especially with more and more ISVs um, coming uh, into the marketplace as well. And channel partners. That's another key thing is that channel partners are also saying that 
the traditional way of us interacting with our customers has changed and marketplace has somewhat disrupted that, uh, that motion. And now they're coming in and they're saying, hey, we need to be a part of this. How do we become a part of this? And as a result, you talked to Matt a little while ago, yeah. he probably talked about all the channel features that he's, all, that, you know, he's developing in the roadmap. So again, it's just been like this evolution and this buildup right um, over time so it's really created a need to you know have like this you know one day conference i think it's going to evolve probably to multi-day right, 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 afterwards right, right, right. but yeah that's kind of the need for it yeah. I'll, I'll grow this space into yeah. a bigger one and speaking of that momentum your team is specifically focusing uh, a large amount of their time on code selling yes talk to us about that real quick what is what is code selling and how does it fit in yeah. the picture so code selling is um really a motion where aws and the isv come together to really provide a solution to the end customer mm -hmm. and that includes not just AW AWS Marketplace as a component of that, but another component is our AWS field teams. So our AWS field teams um, really you know, are the trusted advisors to our end customers. And so are ISVs and so are channel partners. And so we have to bring all of those you know, uh, stakeholders together when we talk to customers. And so that's one of the things that you know, when we sort of co-sell with our ISVs or with our channel partners, we all come to the table and help design a solution for our customer. That design is incorpor incorporates AWS Marketplace when ultimately the customer wants to transact, right? So there's about the engineering, the build, the product. As you know, Chris mentioned in the keynote, it starts with a product, but then it quickly evolves to, okay, great, I want to now transact and buy like a multi-year sort of agreement. How do I go do that? And then that's where the ISV, the channel partner, and AWS Marketplace all fit in. So the co-selling motion is just one where um, it just involves more and more people in the party, especially AWS sales teams. Now, the other thing that we've done is that um, our AWS sales teams have an incentive mm -hmm. to work with ISVs and AWS Marketplace because they, it, it goes towards their comp and quota. So I think we've done you know, a good job based off of the feedback that we've got from our, um, our ISVs and our channel partners to incent our, our sales teams, and they reciprocate. That's one of the key things that, you know, I think a lot of the ISVs and channel partners have done now is that they're also providing those incentives for their organizations as well when they co-sell with us. It is a fantastic synergy bringing everyone to the mm -hmm. table, literally and figuratively here yes. at Seller Conference. I'm Brian Westbrook, Keekwire Studios with Mona Chada. Thank you so much for watching.